welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva. My guest is Mark Crawley. He's an AI researcher at the University of Waterloo. Mark, thank you very much for joining us. No problem, thank you. So Mark, what can you tell us about uh, your field of research and AI? How can AI be used as a force for good? Um, well, I think AI is almost um, only can be used for good. There's so many uh, potentials it can be used for. Um, the, the sustainability goals that the UN has set forward are so this very challenging framework of, of um, indicators and, and goals for the world. And um, in order to solve them, it's kind of daunting to look at them. We need to use the most powerful tools we have available to us. And AI and machine learning let us process data, help people um, make decisions and kind of um, embed their, their own preferences and values into, into systems. And it's probably one of the best ways to help us have a hope of, of progressing towards those goals. Now, your research in particular focuses on uh, using computational power to solve real-life issues like conservation and the environment. What can you tell us about it? Right. Um, yeah, so um, some of my research is in an area called, in, of called uh, computational sustainability, um, where you try to combine uh, machine learning um, techniques um, with uh, real-world sustainable uh, uh, domains, such as uh, forestry um, and reserve design and um, invasive species kind of modeling. Um, so some of my research um, using reinforcement learning on trying to planning in, in forestries and predicting forest fires is kind of one of the ways I'm doing that. Um, but there's many researchers trying to connect these tools with um, these real life uh, problems, um, which is interesting because they, they usually have noise and challenges in them that our own kind of academic tools that we come up with don't necessarily have. So it, it pushes us to, to improve the algorithms as well as um, helping something in the world. How important is it for an academic like you to be mm -hmm. at a summit that the AI for Good Global Summit and to meet other stakeholders? Yeah, I think it's essential because um, it's, it's easy in, in academia to kind of um, stay locked in your own uh, ivory tower of, of research um, and sort of focus on, you know, the publication sort of uh, treadmill of, of results and, 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 uh, and numbers um, and simple models. Um, and so we're talking with people in the real world to make sure that we, we are grounding our research into something that's going to help. Um, but it also helps you realize um, how people see, especially for AI, how people see AI um, in society and what they're planning for and how they plan to use it. Um, and so helping to correct and kind of update people's understanding of what's actually happening in this field is changing so quickly um, is really important for us um, as well. And you also work closely with uh, one of the co-organizers, XPRIZE. What's your role exactly? You're, you're a judge, right? I'm a judge for okay. the uh, IBM, I IBM AI XPRIZE. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, so there's, there's 30 judges and we're looking at um, all the proposals um, people have put in, these amazing projects, people around the world trying to use AI in some way to improve the world in their own community or country. Um, and these are not researchers doing it, they're people in companies or, or even in small institutions or just privately uh, coming up with a project and we're kind of coaching as well as judging and trying to sort through and help uh, as many of them be successful as possible, even though only uh, the three are going to win at the end in terms of rewards. So. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you.